Hey Grizzlies, this is Annabella Del Rosario. And I'm Cesar Valdez, and we thank you for watching another episode of SLZ TV. Hi, I'm Aaron Johnson. And I'm Lana Doan. I'm Tiana Perry. And I'm Andrea Caro. I'm Alex McClain. And I'm Liliana Rodriguez. I'm Christina Caro. And I'm Ahmed Saleh. I'm Vincent Havakur. And I'm Rekha Mohammed. And welcome back to another episode of SLZ TV. Grizzlies, during the quarantine, we had several changes to our campus. Let's hear from Adrian for more information. What's up, SOZ? Now we have been able to go to school due to COVID restrictions and not be aware of the physical changes, such as this fence, where cars will be going in and out. Let's see what the staff members think. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Mr. Pike, our principal. Um, let's ask him a few questions about this new fence that was just put here. Um, what is the reason that this fence is here? This is the new student drop-off. In the uh, morning and the afternoon, we're going to have an imaginary road behind Vada from Ashland all the way right here. They're going to get dropped off and then go out to Ashland Avenue on the way out. Question two. What other reason could this money have gone into other than building the fence? Well, there's lots of other reasons, but uh, one could be upgrading some of the school bathrooms. Others would be maybe improving the gym. Um, the fields, there's lots of other school improvements that also the money go to, but we felt the safety was the first priority. Um, what do you think all of the teachers will think of this? I think they'll generally like it. Um, this is Mr. McVeigh. He runs the Bata building. Let's see what he thinks about this new proposed road. What do you think? Um, I gotta say my initial impression is I'm not terribly fond of it. Um, there was a certain way we designed the studio for us to utilize the outside of the building as well as the inside and having a lot of traffic coming by twice a day for like 45 minutes to an hour will definitely change the way we use the space. Thanks for watching SLZ TV. Back to you at the studio. Have a nice day. Thank you, Adrian and Logan. Well, other than the fence, we also have the newly remodeled M1. This project helps both Grizzlies and the new East Bay Area students with our future plans. And doesn't the new M1 building look so nice? And we're also going to be taking down portables A through F, which is going to be replaced by a new building to help upgrade our classrooms and better our grizzly students and teachers. San Lorenzo Pride Club is a safe space for LGBTQ plus students and allies to build community, discuss identity, media, and life. All students are welcome to join, and Pride Club wants you to know that we see you and we love you. Meetings are from 1 to 1.30, and sign up for Remind at SLZ Pride, or visit the SLZ Pride's Instagram page at slzhs.pride, or email Miss O'Brien for more information. Seniors, if you haven't turned in your cap and gown late forms, don't worry, it's not too late. You can still fill out your late cap and gown forms and turn them in to Mr. Oliveira. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Chives through her email. Would you like to check out print books from the San Lorenzo High School Library? Well, now you can. Ms. Marks and Ms. Kaufman are excited to invite you to check out books from our library through the curbside library checkout. All San Lorenzo and East Bay Art students are welcome to participate. You can request books at any time and pick them up either Wednesdays between 8.45 and 9.45 a.m. or Thursdays between 1 to 3 p.m. outside the San Lorenzo High School Library. For more details on how to check out books, you can visit the San Lorenzo High School Library homepage or email Ms. Marks for any more information. Students, the next sports to start are badminton, boys and girls soccer, and the conditioning for these workouts will start very soon. And if you're interested, please fill out the form in, in the description below. It is very important that you have your physical completed and ready to turn in. Contact Coach Longacre if you have any other questions. Juniors, you can still sign up for your SAT or ACT for May and June. If you qualify for a reduce or free lunch, you can qualify for a free waiver. Please contact Ms. Olivas if you need one. And seniors, for those of you applying to Chabot College for fall of 2021, now is the time to get started. Chabot College is offering application assistance most Tuesdays in March from 4 to 5 p.m. Well, that's all we have for you today, Grizzlies. 
would like to shout out Miss Marks and Miss Kaufman for all their hard work for getting the curbside library checkout underway. Any emails or information you need can be located in the description of this video. Well, this has been Annabella Del Rosario. And I'm Cesar Valdez, and we thank you for watching another episode of SLZ TV. TV.